five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Exploration of the unknown is one of humanity's biggest desires. Outer Wilds is tailor-made for this, giving us an entire physics-based solar system to traverse. Much smaller in comparison to our solar system, but it's a necessity in order to traverse quickly throughout. Life was once rampant thanks to an ancient civilization attempting to colonize the solar system, but mysteriously went extinct one day. We are tasked to set out and explore the once lively solar system and its five planets, starting with the home base we took off from, which most closely resembles our home planet, Timber Hearth. Nothing crazy going on its surface, and its moon doesn't have much going on either when compared to the next planet. Planet, or should I say the next two planets, called the Hourglass Twins. These two planets are held together by a stream of sand going back and forth between the two like, well, an hourglass. The next planet in orbit is Brittle Hollow. It gets that name thanks to its volcanic moon sun thing, which shoots fireballs at the surface of Brittle Hollow, causing pieces of the surface to fall apart constantly. Underneath the brittle surface is an ancient city hiding from the fireballs, and below that is a black hole where the broken pieces end up. Just be careful not to fall into the black hole or you'll... Well, Racing past us is a comet running its elliptical orbit. Looking past that, we are introduced to a planet called the Giant's Deep, an ominous name for a seemingly normal looking planet outside its atmosphere. Ah, now I see. The final and furthest planet from the sun is Dark Bramble, which almost isn't a planet or more so a nest. At its core, there is a wormhole that teleports us inside a foggy area where nothing is visible but the creatures inside. Nope. As life would have it, every living thing must have an ending, and the solar system is no different. As the sun is combusting into a supernova, we have no choice but to wait our turn. 